I think it's the adrenaline. You know, when you're driving a car on the edge, it just feels great. Who am I? <laughs> I'm Zane Goddard, driver of the 888 Super Cheap Auto Wildcard. Yeah, I live Mermaid Beach on the Gold Coast and yeah, I love getting down to the beach, love taking advantage of the Gold Coast hinterland, you know, whether that's on my mountain bike or road bike or just going out and exploring, doing some hiking and stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like I was really lucky growing up on the Gold Coast. We spent a lot of time out in the water in our little tinnies and stuff and we've, we've got some pretty wild stories of stuff that happened, but um, yeah, loved it. Been studying architecture I've actually been at uni for like five years. Um, so my bachelor's is a three year degree, but just cause I've been racing, I've been doing it part time. Obviously, hopefully racing works out, but um, yeah, that's definitely the fallback. Yeah, I think like most people, go-karting was the first step and you know, made a lot of friends there. A lot of friends that I'm actually racing in supercars now. So it's funny how it all works out. Probably say my fondest memory was actually racing go-karts at the Worlds. You know, it was really special. You had to qualify, you know, top three in the nation made it and racing people from all around the world. And now after like making friends with a lot of them and watching them, you know, go on to driving Formula One and world endurance and that sort of stuff, it's pretty cool. Greatest achievement, it's a hard one to really say, you know, the most special moment probably felt like when I qualified on the second row at Tassie in supercars. That was just a really cool moment, you know, starting the race at the front, you know, having the whole crowd sort of gather around your car, have a lot of interest and eyes on your car and you. Um, and then a few of the race wins over in, in England were definitely up there as well, like racing at the Silverstone and winning there, you know, that's somewhere where you watch as a kid, watch Formula Ones go around and yeah, to win there was pretty special. Now racing in the, the supercars at a wild card level, so did the solo round at Darwin uh, a few weeks back, which was awesome. You know, getting to go back in an individual round was something really special. It's been a fair while. The last time before that was like 18 months. Yeah, it was just a really special moment. And then obviously later in the year, have the Enduros with, with Craig. So that's going to be really cool. Have a lot of test days before then. Yeah, so racing the Chevy Camaro, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, it always used to be the Falcon and the Commodore, where now it's the Camaro and the Mustang, which I think the cars look epic. They look really tough, especially the Camaro. It's just got a wide stance to it. It looks aggressive. It's fast. It's winning a lot of races. Yeah, so obviously driving with Craig, who, you know, when you think of drivers at Mount Panorama, there's not really anyone more successful. You know, he's won so many supercar races there. And if you have to put Craig together, Jamie and Shane, you know, there's a a whole lot of supercar championships there, Bathurst 1000 wins, team championships. Yeah, as far as teams go, you can't really get in a better team than that. It's probably the perfect spot to be at the moment and, you know, my plan is to, you know, soak it up all this year and, you know, come, come out of the year the best driver I can possibly be. It always felt like it was going to happen, it just kept taking quite a while, but we got there eventually. And then got a call from, yeah, Justin, probably a little bit down on racing and stuff at the time. As far as the incident goes, it it was just unlucky. Um, but yeah, like I said, I feel like I've come out of it stronger and I have more of a passion and more of a love for racing. So yeah, it is what it is now. Um, I think the main thing was just, I had a pretty good support network around me. Even some people that were involved in the incident, you know, um, you know really showed their true colors and were really supportive and that was really awesome. Um, obviously the other side really sucked and I've actually got more of a passion for racing, weirdly enough. You know, you could see how that would sort of turn you away, but, but it's one of those things, you never write off a person or an opportunity because that can be like the defining moment that does make it all happen. So yeah, I've been wanting to fit out a van for ages now, probably four or five years. It's, Always something I've been really passionate about, mainly like with the racing and, you know, a lot of the training and stuff that I do. You know, a van is massively beneficial to doing that, whether it's go-karting, you know, I can just whack that in the back, or if it's like camping, hiking, whatever, or dirt biking. Yeah, so it's a 2021 Mercedes Sprinter, medium wheelbase. It's hard to say what my favorite feature is. 
I'm loving the whole outside at the moment. I love how rugged it looks. Like if you saw the van when it started as just a, just a panel van, didn't look very tough where, I don't know whether it's the off-road wheels or the roof racks or the accessories or what it is, but it just looks tough. At the moment, it doesn't have as much stuff on it. It's got the, the drawer slide at the back, which I love, especially for go-karting and stuff. Like tools and stuff fit like perfectly. Cause there's nothing worse than going to the go-kart track, having something break and then not having the tools to fix it. So yeah, got all my gear in there. Got the Tool Pro, uh, Tool Pro electric tools and all that sort of stuff. So got that and then yeah, the shower, awning off the side, got driving lights going on soon and some rock lights, which is gonna look pretty, pretty cool. And then I got the camp kitchen as well. Got a Jenny, uh, got a propane cooker, tables, this lovely chair. Yeah, the solar panel was actually definitely the hardest bit now I think about it. That took forever. But um, yeah, I thought that was gonna be like a 10 minute job and that, that took a long time. I had to get my roommate to help me with that. You know, it's gonna pay off, you know, getting basically free power while you're on the road, you know, it's a no brainer. But yeah, got a, got a couple things on, but yeah, got a lot more coming on. So I'm keen to see the final product and see how all those things gel into it and how they make it super. Whoever you are, whatever you drive, make it super with Super Jeep Auto.